I've had a ton of coffee. Let's build something absolutely overpowered. Give me the first wave, which is way more peaceful than I need it to be. I want chaos. And just like that, $121, which we can spend on all sorts of fun upgrades. So all I need is $850 and we'll be a dartling gunner. So we've got a bit of saving to do. Luckily they're just red balloons so far, so they stand no chance at all. Nothing does when I've had this much coffee. I can anticipate the future. Wave two was absolutely destroyed. Just a bunch of red balloons. Time for wave three. Come on, come on, faster. Starting to get some blue ones. They'll take two darts to pop and they are just a little bit faster still nothing i'm gonna worry about and with this one the end of the wave we're up to 400 dollars we're halfway to our minigun i'm pretty sure if i upgrade this dart thrower right now it's gonna lock me into the dart class so that's why i'm simply saving up money and popping things a boring way but don't worry things will escalate and so will my ideas and i'll get worse and worse until the whole thing fails so i'll just have more copy and double down i actually just hit a balloon there as i was turning because i'm not paying attention 199 hits to go luckily i can outsmart these things pretty easily they're not very good with the brains. And I mean, I get to walk around on a tropical island, so it's really not that bad. $570? Give me some more. By the end of this, I want like an ultra minigun firing nukes at things. That would make me very happy. And I can actually plant a banana tree for about $1,100, which will get me more money. I might also do that at some point, but we're gonna see how this goes for now. It's so very simple, but so very satisfying. And the end of wave 5, we have $734, which isn't quite enough for my minigun. Should just spawn camp this all day long. I know where they come from. I can just sit here. Oh, we're getting the green balloons, they'll take an extra hit, and they're going to be even faster again. Luckily, I'm a professional, and I never miss a shot, so they all can die even from way over here. Just ignore that one. That was a practice shot. Things aren't escalating quickly enough. I've had way too much coffee for this, but I've almost got my minigun, so then things will start feeling a little more normal. Okay, at the end of wave 6, we have $897, so we're going to make this guy some money. Give me this. Dartling gunner. No, I can rely on raw firepower, not any strategy or thinking whatsoever. I feel like this wave is suspiciously easy, though, which makes me worried that there might be invisible balloons coming my way. But again, I have a minigun, so I'm just going to continually fire it in all directions, and I'll hopefully pop anything and everything. But so far, this is a really big upgrade. And we can still upgrade it a long, long ways. Like, here's a nice row of balloons. They'll never get to me at that rate. Uh, my shots aren't that accurate, but I still spray so much in front of me, nothing stands a chance. So we're going to go ahead and start the next round. I'm going to seek out the balloons. I'm going to flip the script. I'm going to march straight towards them, killing them at all times. But we might actually need a stronger minigun before we get that carried away. So far, so good. Round 8 of 40 is done. Can we get some upgrades? I could actually get focus firing but do we need it i feel like as long as the shots aren't going too high they're still hitting mostly everything a few slip to the right but we'll just increase the amount of bullets we fire to make up for that i ow, believe the term here is spray and pray like they're starting to catch up a little bit but as long as i'm actually paying attention to where they're coming from it's still not a challenge yet might have just got touched again by a little balloon again because i'm not really paying attention i kept forgetting they come from over here and again, this is a bit of an easier wave, so I'm suspicious of this. Or they're just trying to overwhelm me with raw numbers, but they're so slow I can kite them around and line them up. Because if I walk over here now, all the balloons are this side of me, so I can sit here and mow them down endlessly. And that's the last of them, $940. So with that, we'll start the next round, because I just realized I'm very close to being able to afford a banana tree, and I want a banana tree. And I think I'm seeing yellow balloons, so they're going to be even quicker and harder to kill. Ow. They're very quick. That scared me. Pretty sure that's the first time I've ever been jump scared by a balloon. Okay, please don't make me regret this. Banana tree. First, I have to purchase increased production. So we need $425 to upgrade that. I'm just going to start the next wave because we are going to need to upgrade this minigun soon. But isn't it beautiful? I'm not sure how it works yet. Okay, I've really got to watch out for these yellow balloons that keep sticking up behind me. Luckily, they only do one damage, but they're quite quick. But I kind of like that at the same time because that means they get to me in a hurry. And I want to get through these waves in a hurry. Okay, here's the bananas. Uh, We get how much? 307. We get 50 50 dollars for each bundle so that's worth it that will pay for itself in no time at all i'm gonna spawn camp this one but you gotta look around every once in a while it's like a horror game because i feel like there's always something sneaking up on me the best way to start is probably just to line up your shots over this one towards another one but for now it's just sort of uh spray and pray we get them all lined up over here if i had more powerful darts this would absolutely mow these down but we'll have that very soon this is the satisfying part when i can kind of just back up a touch every now and then and they all die a horrible horrible death and then we pick up our bananas so now we have almost a thousand dollars to spend again so I'm going to buy faster barrel spin. Wait, do I have to work my way up the upgrades? I didn't realize I had to do those in order. That's fine. Because now my shots are going to be more accurate, I guess, so I'll waste less. You know me, you don't want to waste a thing ever. These yellow balloons are actually really annoying. God, always aim for yellow first. And that's another wave quite easily taken care of, which leaves me with $1,143 to spend on faster barrel spin. The mini gun actually changed color. Wow, it's really quick now. Okay, this will make it way easier. Listen to the speed of that pop. 
I have so much more confidence now. In fact, I have so much more confidence, we're going to upgrade that as soon as we can. We should be able to afford it soon. Yellow balloons stand no chance now. Ooh, we're getting purple balloons now. They have a yellow balloon inside them. Only one though. Do I have enough for the new tree? I want to try and buy that before the wave ends. So we're going to run over there and press F. There we go. Now we'll make more money every round. And there we go. The wave is done. No, do we have five every round? Yep. Now we're making... Oh, maybe even six, $300 every round. So over the next 24 rounds, that's going to be a lot of money. Yeah, this uh, faster firing gun makes this almost too easy at this point. But the waves are definitely going to get harder and harder and harder. But when you get more powerful darts, I think they go through balloons, like with piercing. So that'll be sort of laughable. I think that last one kissed me. I feel like it would be stupid not to upgrade this again. And you can even upgrade it again beyond that. Well, I am an investor. Oh, we got the regen balloons now. So if you don't kill these, they regenerate their health all the way back up to presumably yellow then. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Okay, that was a really easy wave. So we're going from $700 all the way up to $1,100. We're getting $400 every round. I kind of do want the banana plantation, but I think I need to get another minigun upgrade before I get too carried away with banana plantations. But this is so easy. I sit here and fire this direction. I can mow down basically two waves of them because the other ones take a sec to get here. And then when they start to get close, I just move myself to the far side of the island and commit balloon aside. Uh, another wave down, $1,400 plus all the banana plantation. So we're going to go ahead and buy powerful darts. I do think I want camo detection because they're probably going to start to show up and I'd rather buy that before I need it rather than after. Okay, more powerful darts. So I think they'll penetrate. We're getting pink again so i'm glad i got that upgrade when i did because this would be a lot harder without that we're popping multiples now with every dart we're firing a lot of darts yeah this is much easier because now they can get in my face and i'm not as worried so oh black balloons okay these ones are full of two pink balloons if i saw that correctly which is why i'm glad i have the multiple popping and they're very small so they're going to be harder to hit but same strategy kind of line them up and fire away the piercing pretty much takes care of the rest but i did notice i can also buy things like a monkey ace or attack shooter maybe we'll buy one of these i probably probably should have bought one a while ago and we'll get more tax out of it. I think I can actually place that so I'm probably going to put it somewhere... Wow, that's bigger than I thought. But since I usually start here, all the balloons kind of center through that area anyway, so we'll see if that actually does anything. I mean, I know it will. I'm just not sure how useful it's going to be. Wow, those are quick. Okay, we got to keep uh, keep ourselves moving here, otherwise the yellows will get us. I could probably actually just kite them around my tower anyway, and it's going to do most of the heavy lifting for me. Come here, idiots. All right, is it working? Yep, it's helping. Yeah, actually, it's sitting a lot of those, especially, especially the basic levels, so I'm glad I bought that. Halfway to 40. So we're going to go again. White balloons? Was I seeing that correctly? I don't know what white balloons have inside them but it's probably not a lot of fun the tax shooter will help thin them out too like if it can hit the white balloons and turn them into the big purples i would be much happier with that because the purples are a lot easier to see can i jump on this do balloons fly i wonder if i get to sit on top of something and they can't hit me anymore <laughs> the tree's giving up the goods again i kind of want to upgrade this again uh i accidentally clicked on um the gunner the sky gunner but he's just gonna help thin it out anyway you can actually see him flying around up there that's great uh these waves are pretty intense and quick and some of these balloons are hard to see the white ones are hard to see in the horizon so i'm gonna keep myself moving but yeah, he definitely uh, fires big volleys that are really going to thin things out too. Uh, these balloons are almost as fast as me too, so I do need to keep myself pretty mobile to get away from them. Mm, but we're not going to stop there. Keep on firing. Oh, we got camo balloons finally, so I did time that fairly reasonably well. So this should be an easy round because they're just testing you with camo balloons. In fact, I've hardly had to kill a thing this round. That was super easy. And we got the regens. These don't really bother me because we generally kill everything all at once. We don't let things live for very long once we start shooting them. And my tack shooters are also going to help thin these out anyway. In theory, we could discover the entire island with tax shooters, if you can have more than one. That would probably take care of it all by itself. Wave done, the banana's given up its goods, and we have enough to upgrade this thing. So we're gonna do that. Wow, look at that. Then we're probably gonna need more upgrades again, because I feel like this is gonna start to get hard even for our super minigun at this point. And we have camo white balloons that give two purples, which are uh, pretty annoying, because those are really, really quick. But I'm glad I have the banana farm right now, because these waves, I don't think we give a lot of money, because there's not a ton of balloons. So banana tree is going to be my big earner. Is there something alive? All right, look at all these bananas. I didn't see how much I started with, but that's clearly quite a bit of money. Start the next wave. It's going to be uh, a few waves to afford whatever's next, but that's okay because we're going to start making more and more and more money by a lot. Why is this wave just red balloons? Oh, wait, hey, here comes more color. And the green are coming out. I feel like they're just slowly filtering through the usual colors, which means it's probably going to get a little bit harder soon because it'll swarm me with pinks. So let's lure them all into the center, squeeze through that little gap and line them all up and mow them all down. Probably should have put the tax shooter more dead in the center of the island if I'm going to kite them around like this. But live and learn. I think we're going to be okay just based on our super minigun. And look how much money we have now. $1,720 before picking up the bananas. 
2600 so we're getting almost a thousand dollars around just off that and i accept that okay we're starting to get the ceramics or whatever they are so they're actually taking a little bit of effort to kill we can kill them but it's a few hits for sure so if those start stacking up we are going to be in a touch of trouble should probably upgrade the tax shooter too because it could probably be doing a lot more than it does but now that i have 3700 dollars i kind of want to try the laser cannon mostly because it leads to a plasma accelerator and that's the most expensive of all the options so i assume it's the best so no yep we're just firing a laser cannon and it seems to be quite quick. I don't know if it pops through additional layers of balloons, but it'll be extra helpful for probably ceramics. It'll be better for everything. Mm, I always forget I gotta stay moving. Mm, laser cannon is definitely a nice little upgrade. I think it's quicker and just fires more powerful shots. There's another easy $1,000. Next round. Okay, so yeah, that worked much better for the ceramics because that let out a big bunch of ceramics. I assume they all did. So we can melt them from a good distance away now and then we just take care of basic idiot balloons. No problem at all. And really? That was it? Cool. I'm managing to and these upgrades in all the right ways. So let's give uh, him rapid fire and can we buy more tax again? Nope. We could work all the way through to the tax zone. We're on wave 31 out of 40 already, so we're doing quite well. The waves are getting noticeably harder though. Like with the minigun I had a few rounds ago, I would be absolutely destroyed right now. It would be such a struggle just to stay alive. But we learn as we go and we just keep upgrading things to do damage. My strategy is always more damage equals less problems. Do you think a hero's worth the money? Maybe I should buy a machine gunner. I guess I have to work my way up probably, huh? All right, we now have this thing as a helper. Not sure if he's going to be good at his base level but i mean he was seventeen hundred dollars so he's got to do something helpful all right stupid balloons come through my tax shooter and we turn around and laser through them all i don't think there's anything behind me but we'll find out soon yeah, he's marching around pretty quickly, actually, probably doing some pretty good damage himself. And I really like that, because I feel like I don't really have to do anything at all anymore. My automatic towers will take care of things. Do you follow me? I think, yeah, he did. Okay, yeah, he follows me around aiming his tank at me. And that's fine, because it's going to help keep me safe. Oh, and he does explosive damage, which is kind of nice, so we can clear out one of these pretty easy. This was just a lot of camos, which was weird, because, like, you obviously have camo detection by now, so that wasn't hard. Yeah, he's actually really good for taking out big clusters of little balloons. More and more balloons showing up. This is a big, big wave. But I've got big, big damage, so we're going to be all right. And he's very good at thinning out, like, big clusters of basic balloons. Because he gets through layers of them. Just about dead. Wow, look at all the money we're starting to get. It's adding up quick. $4,100 plus 1000 more. So maybe for now I'll upgrade him to a machine gun. I don't know if that's actually going to be better. Armor piercing shells. Uh, the tack, I guess, will give uh, faster shooting for 1275 And we're going to start this. Don't know if he's actually firing better or more or whatever. But yeah, things are going all right. The tack should be shooting more too. So we just have more going on in the center that I don't need to manually shoot. So if we sit over here, we can kind of hold our ground and pull everything through the tack shooters while I go back and forth, trying not to get touched by any balloons. And so far, this is more than up to the task. Great. And we're getting thousands of dollars every round now. We just earned another 3000 from that. I do want to upgrade my banana tree, which we will, but for now I just need to stay over here and lure everything through my doom day area. Camo regen would be really annoying without the camo uh, upgrade. I don't even know like if you can hit them if you can't see them at all. Round 36. I like how the tank to spawn camps this too. We both have the same idea. We'll just take out this one and then it's not a problem anymore. But they do start coming on heavier and heavier and heavier. They're all coming from the right side this time. I gotta get them to my tech shooter. And we just keep firing and firing and firing. So far so good. The laser minigun uh, naturally is quite strong. Uh, I didn't realize I can just press Q to move the tech shooter wherever I want to. So yeah, I'm going to put it. Well, there is probably fine. Super minigun is doing super things for me. I am glad I bought the hero though and the sky gunner too. Everything's really helping thin out just enough to make this uncomfortably easy for me. Oh, that's what it meant when it asked me what mode I wanted to play on and I selected easy. But I gotta make myself look good at the game somehow. Tanks really get in there and blowing up all sorts of balloons. Wave done. Okay, for a little more... Don't know what I just bought or how much I paid for it, but great. I'm sure that's probably helpful. Tax sprayer for 1700 Overdrive. That sounds fun. So, okay. I think he just probably does it a little quick. I didn't really mean to buy him. I meant to click on him to see what his options were. I forgot you just straight up buy things. That's fine. We have a laser minigun. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. This is wave 39 out of 40, so it should be quite challenging. And there are a lot of balloons, so we definitely got to keep circling them around. But all the balloons have already spawned. Ooh, look at the tax shooter now. Yeah, that was worth the upgrade just on appearance alone. Look at it go. Okay, yeah, come on this way, guys. I don't even have to fire anymore. They all get taken care of. Well, we'll take a $4,200 and do wave 40 of 40. Oh, okay, it's one of you. I remember you. Come this way. Come towards my tax shooter. Okay. Oh, interesting. It was like a final boss. It's going to get absolutely destroyed. Yep, we're clearly quite strong. Strong enough to have achieved total victory without breaking a sweat. 